Today we got Razer's latest and greatest mouse. This mouse is marketed for eSports. So this is what you get in the box. I have it unboxed already. So there's nothing really fancy about the box. In fact, it's really flimsy. As you can see, it's got damage and shipping already. Here's the front. side and back. I'll go over all the features of the mouse and then give my review of it. I've been playing with this mouse for about two days already. Okay. In the box you get the mouse, got some nice stickers, and the manual. So let's get right into it. Razer Viper. This is a 5G 16,000 DPI optical gaming mouse from Razer. Side view, top view, and the bottom. You notice that it's actually made in Taiwan while the lens head and a couple of other models are made in China. Got the sensor right in the middle which is nice. Main features of the mouse is the light weight of the mouse. It's um, stated to be 69 grams but I did my weight depending on how much wire it is, it's over 70. I'll do a accurate weight measurement later. So I have it plugged in and to my laptop and I have the latest Razer Synapsys software. However, for some reason, it's just not registering with the, um, yeah, with the program. So I think they need to update their program for it to work. Okay. And then it says it has eight buttons. However, if you do a count, one, two, side buttons, three, four, five, six. I mean, there's really only six main buttons that you could use. You could say that the mouse wheel is a click button as well. So that makes seven. And I guess the last button would be the DPI button, but who's going to use this in the game, right? So how they state that is not too good in my opinion. Because there's really only six usable buttons, and if you're right-handed, it's really difficult to use your pinkies as well. Another thing you'll notice about this mouse is the grip section here. I think they did this because they wanted to save shave off the weight but I really like the latest versions of the Lancet. This is much more grippy. You can see over here it's very very uh, um, shallow the grip. So right off the bat this is borderline between like they want, I know what they were going after, they want to be a very lightweight, but it's bordering on feeling really cheap, I would say. However, it's very solid. You can hear the button clicks. Okay. And then let's do the sides as well. So very solid mouse clicks. And they have optical sensors for the switches, so highly accurate and quick response times. Okay. Bottom of the mouse, again, dead center with the sensor, which is very good. These large skates, I wish they would actually separate this because this is actually too much surface area for me. The bottom is fine, I like it. The FPI switch, um, 
I wish they had the two buttons over here as well. It gives you an extra two buttons for macros. I really didn't uh, mind. Like I never really miss fire dumb while in game. Okay, let's get some measurements in here. I don't have my ruler, but I have my scale. I found grams. So just over 70 grams. If you get uh, less wire, it'll be even less. The Razer Lancet, which I really like as well, is 108 grams. So definitely shaving a lot of weight on this mouse. And as for the balance of the mouse, I would say it's very well balanced. The center of gravity is right in the middle. I don't know if you could see that. But yeah, it's right in the middle where the sensor is. So a lot of control on this. Another thing that is a plus is the cable. Very lightweight, soft, won't tangle as well. I think the it's actually a little thicker than the lance head, but softer for some reason. You see it in comparison. A little thicker, but softer okay yeah I also like how the lance has separated the top skates Doing a quick comparison again very minimalistic design for the Viper this is like they took off every single thing that they thought would help them shave some weight off. There's no lights on the side as well. This is the only light. Again, you can customize this in the Razer app. Let's do some scroll wheel. The score wheel is pretty good. I'll put it to the mic. Very solid. And then the button of the score wheel. Yeah, it's very responsive as well. So, the games that I recommend with this mouse is mainly FPS. Um, if you're doing MOBAs, I think you really need, uh, like, I really miss these two buttons. Like, yeah. However, this mouse is the ultimate like control mouse. You have definitely very quick reflexes with this mouse due to its lightweight. It's well balanced. Minimalistic design is ambidextrous as well as left as left and right are the same. And the last plus, I was going to say something about the sensor, but it's basically the same as the Lancet. So if you like the Lancet, the Viper will be great as well. Okay. You uh, size comparison as well. You notice that the shape between the two are very similar with the Viper just being a tad shorter but lengthwise it's I would say the same and also the height it's just slightly very slightly um, lower profile and then on the back you have a little taper as well as you can see so a lot of design philosophy came with their latest lance head, which I like. When I say this is the best gaming mouse, I would say it is for Counter-Strike or FPS games, which require you very quick uh, control. And with its 
lightweight design. You could basically use this as an office bus as well. I mean, you won't even get it. This is basically like a featherweight mouse. Now, cost-wise, it's at uh, $79.99 right now on Amazon. I'll put the links in the description below. I would actually wait until this thing goes for sale because it honestly does not feel like an $80 mouse to me. The lance head right now, you could get this for $59. This is a better value in my opinion. I've been using this mouse for over probably eight months. And yeah, this is probably my go-to mouse for gaming right now. For office work, yeah, this one will probably beat it up just because of the lightweight. You won't get fatigued. And it's the latest Razer mouse. Um, the grips, the two biggest negatives I would think for me is just the grips. I miss this one a lot. And the DPI buttons. That's it. But if you're looking for a new gaming mouse that is the latest and best for Counter Strike or FPS games, Pick yourself up a Razer Viper. Thanks for watching.